Hello guys, so quick video, I'm gonna try out Rider of the Apocalypse. Now if you don't know what this is, you have a chance when you spend runes to summon one of the four horsemen. Each has their own buff, so more grain casts death and decay around him. And you can use this death and decay to get unholy ground, the 5% haste, and cleaving strikes. So whenever you have more grain, you are getting this buff. Now, white main casts undead. This is a dot that stacks. Trollbane casts chain of ice and increases the damage you deal to that target by 5%. And Asgrim literally just gives you strength buff. Now, dead charge. We're gonna use this one because this on a paler horse is for world PvP. More grains might, so we get. 5% increased damage when more grain is up and as it says we get the benefits from death and decay so these two fact of the apocalypse whenever you take damage 5% of the damage is redirected to the horseman when anyone is alive with you so if all four horsemen are alive you get up to 20% damage reduction white means famine when obliterate Damages an enemy affected by undead, it gains one stack and infects another nearby target, so another enemy. Nazgrim's Conquest, so each rune you spend increases the strength by 1%, first you get 3% when he's summoned. If an enemy dies while Nazgrim is active, the strength of Apocalyptic Conquest is increased by 3%, additionally each rune you spend increases its value by 1. So you get 3% strength. If you kill somebody you get 3 more and for each rune you get 1% more. Trollbane's Icy Fury. Now this is when Trollbane is active he casts Chain of Ice. When you attack this Chain of Ice with Obliterate it explodes, deals Shadow Frost damage. Hungering Thirst just flat 10% increase damage to Diseases and Frost Strike. Uh, Fear of the Horseman or a Feast of Souls. Now, Fear of the Horseman increases the duration of your Horseman by one second for each 50 runic power you spent. And a Feast of Souls, while you have two or more Horsemen aiding you, your runic power spending abilities deal 20% increased damage. So, Frost Strike deals 20% increased damage. I think this one is better because that you spent 50 runic power, you have to cast two Frost Strikes. I don't think you get much benefit from this. Moss Horn Menace. Obliterate deals 10% increased damage and the cooldown of your death and decay is reduced by 10 seconds. So we got now two death and decays with a 20 second recharge. So we have a much bigger upkeep on cleaving strikes and on holy ground with Rider of the Apocalypse. And Apocalypse now, so Army of the Dead or Frost Realms Fury calls all the four horsemen. Now they last for 20 seconds. Of course, to be able to use this, you need Frost and Fury and Absolute Zero so that you have a 1.5 minute cooldown. Now, regarding PvP talents, everything is the same for Arena, Bloodforged Armor, or Spell Warden. That's what we're gonna use most of the time. So, let's get to the gameplay. Our first game in this new battleground. That's the crystal in the mid, which somebody can take. And let's start to deal damage and destroy it. We are hitting 1 million obliterates and nearly 800 frost strike, which is not bad. This guy is dead, gonna grip this guy as well to kill. Not bad damage, but I didn't summon the horsemen's. This priest is literally AFK. Oh no, he's not AFK, I'm gonna silence kill him. Now as you see I got the haste buff from Morgrain from his death and decay. Droid. Come over here. I'm gonna seriously burst this time or not. Now we're gonna burst. 
got our horses out and holy moly that guy has been toasted was that a 900k frost strike not bad get over here druid don't run away Droids are so freaking tanky now. What the hell? Why didn't I grip him? Come on. Without my... Oh, 560k Frost Strike. Not bad. Without any burst. I'm gonna do a disbalance. I'm gonna leech upon some damage. But I don't have my horsemen. I'm gonna sacrifice pet. Thank you for the heal. My god. Nice. We are obliterating the alliance in this game. Well, at least I can check this PG a bit out. This is the first time I'm here. Oh, here's the druid. Get away here. I'm gonna burst him for real. Oh, come on, caster damage. I don't think that was all my damage, but. Not bad. Oh, nice. I'm gonna silence him. I have no burst now. That's a lot of damage. Get over here. I'm gonna blind them. That's gonna. I'm gonna do nothing, <laughs> because I can't. No MZ in time, I die. No way to out heal that. We are actually top in damage then. I'm gonna test this more out once I get full honor gear. Now my quick opinion about the two talent builds. So Deathbringer or Rider of the Apocalypse. So Rider of the Apocalypse, you get a little bit buffed up play rate and frost strike. But you don't have Reaper's Mark. You don't have the Exterminate damage, which you get each 45 seconds. You have to use Absolute Zero with Frost Worm to be able to burst each 1.5 minute with the four horsemen. I don't like that because anytime I use Frost Worm's Fury to actually use all four horsemen, I have to stun the enemy. So my Remorseless Winter gets the yard immediately. I mean, you can burst each 45 seconds. So you burst once with Frost Fence Fury when you with all four horsemen and sometimes just Pillar of Frost. While with Deadbringer you get Reaper's Mark and uh, the Exterminate hits from Obliterate. But play whichever you feel comfortable with and which playstyle you like. Well, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Beneath the ice and snow, a legend awakens. I am Arthas, the Lich King ruler of the damned master of Frostmoor.